Alright, back again. Just for the last episode of the radio console, I'll just uh, fill you in. So I've done all the electrical, fitted off all the antenna. It's all good to go. Let's have a look. This is the final product. And there you go. You see that in the camera. So it's all fitted up. Got my microphone in. Um, switcher on. Oh, I'll go to scan. See if I can pick anyone up. But usually it's a bit quiet. But <clears throat> yeah, the only the only hassle I found is that I might get one of those coily things they have on um, on the Department of Interior site, the console site. Um, yeah, apart from that, it works in really well. All my lights working. Speaker works fine if I get someone to talk to me, but oh well. No, I know it works, so it's all good, it's all been tested, so let's turn that off. And I'll just show you what's on the uh the console website uh for Department of Interior. Okay, so this is the Department of Interior. Um this is the only company in Australia that I know that, that actually make um overhead consoles. Um there's a big list down here, it includes Suzuki. So if I go to click down here, get down to Suzuki. Funny enough, it doesn't include Jimny's. In fact, the only overhead console they do that's actually listed is the Grand Vitara Type 1. And that's that's their roof console, quite different from mine. So um, everything's a plus, plus, plus. Here's a few different designs. Um, that they have made available. Um, you gotta remember, I think, what they say, $420 for that. And if you want a radio, it's plus, plus, plus. Um, so you could be excessive of a thousand bucks, like, but you know, by the time it's fitted. Um, so there's a fair bit of different, so that's that coily thing that I'll, I'll get. I'll just make one up. So it says in the accessories, it's free. But um, I might be ringing them up, asking, see if I can find it. Uh, where was it? Building consoles, um, product listing and pricing. Okay, I found it before, but I've. Accessories, here we go. All right, so there are all the accessories you can get for this particular company. I don't know if they sell any of these parts individually. Are oh, they price, price to supply? There you go. So if I want a, a microphone coily cord, they charge. They'll just send it out. I mean, maybe I should ring them up and say, hey, price supply. So anyway, so the map lights, you know, uh, pick a design out that you want. Um, and then they got a whole full list of radios there. Um, some of these are 40 channel radios, but you can get a better price if you get on eBay. Um, there's a few different designs of a few different cars. It's Prado. I actually made mine for a Prado. Um, it was a 98 model. Because uh, they didn't make any. Actually, I should go see if I can find them. If they actually do. So I'll go to Toyota. Um, I think Cruiser 70. Prado 95 series, here we go. Well, they do. Well, they actually do. Let's have a look at that. Eh. I like mine better. Mine was a bit similar to this design here, I think. Because the radio here. and um, I think I had my, yeah, I had my set of console lights. And I had another set of map lights along here. So, yeah. There you go. So it's worth getting on the side, have a look. Um, get a few different ideas and things like that. So that's at um, Department of Interior. Um, websites www.consoles.com.au All right. I hope to finish up here, guys. Um, it's been, you know, uh, one of those really long builds. Uh, but I finally got it done. Um, uh, done the snorkel. I don't know how I got both done in, both in the same week. But now I'm getting onto my trailer again. And um, I'll repost everything from the beginning. And we'll go from there. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.